okay, I'm gonna be real. This is like take seven. And I wanna just get this out of the way because I've been like talking over and over and just collecting my thoughts. And I think each time I do this, I get better. So they were gonna talk about withering waves and it's very bad localization, audio design and sound mixing and why that breaks the deal for me. I cannot recommend this video game. It's so bad. Say this right now. Disclaimer, I cannot speak about the Korean, Chinese, Japanese, or whatever other dub and their localizations. All I'm talking about is specifically the English dub and its localization. It's really bad. Put it simply, it sounds like someone wrote a script in another language and then ran it through Google Translate to English, then ran that jumbled mess through Grammarly to get it grammatically correct, shipped it, and had someone read those lines. It's really really bad everything feels stilted and not real like they don't feel like they're actual people talking to me no one talks this way and i know a lot of the cast seems to be esl english as a second language and that's no problem i love a lot of cast members like that who cares because they're talented actors i do not think they got good enough direction because this is really bad and I could care less about a story if the story is not conveyed properly. I'm sure there's a cool, compelling story here. I'm so sure. But it's not being conveyed well with this bad localization. I'm not saying it's the worst localization I've ever seen. Obviously, there are worse, but this is bad. This is very, very bad. To couple that with the fact that there's a quality of life stuff that is in here that makes me happy because I play Genshin and there's like traversal stuff and combat that I vastly prefer in Weathering Waves to Genshin. Uh, there are audio fuck-ups in this game, like a lot of it, especially when you're playing on autoplay for the dialogue scenes. Just in case you want to leave it on autoplay and do something else, right? Or like, I don't know, just, just listen in or whatever you're doing. They just skip lines. If you've played Sonic Adventure 2, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If not, they could be in the middle of a line saying, we should go do this, I think we should go there. But the line will read, we should go do this, we should... And then he goes, yeah, I think we... And then all of a sudden it just goes, eh, well, we're here. I'm like, oh, what? Just lines get cut for no reason. And I think it has to do with the fact that autoplay sort of auto will automatically move the dialogue forward at a given point in time. And they just didn't calibrate it right. So sometimes it just cuts lines. Makes it worse. There's no log button to read the entire conversation. Genshin has it. Um, Honkai Star Rail has it. You just press the letter L on your keyboard and you have the log and you can read the entire dialogue so far this doesn't have that so if they, hey if they gave you something of importance and it did that to you get fucked i guess it's not good not only that i've experienced issues where the game will have me on like a cliff looking down like very early on in the game you there's a cliff you and two other characters are looking down and there's like this yellow star and baiju is down there and there's supposed to be like wind rushing past you and the wind sound cut out get, uh, excuse me uh, gets cut out and it's not like the wind stopped for an ominous thing. No, it's just the sound file stopped. And then came back all of a sudden, as if it just never stopped in the first place, or it's always there. This game is marred by a lot of issues that are very deal-breaking for me. And it's a shame because there's a lot here that I think Genshin players will appreciate with its traversal, the way that chests work. God help me, you just open a chest and you just get everything in the chest. How nice is that? The cool Pokemon feature where you get to collect wildlife in your game and then you can equip their skills to you. It's, it's cool. It's very combat skill focused for now. Everyone's telling me late game, it's more of like how you build and you just auto play it. I'm gonna fucking hate that, but whatever. For now, I can give a glowing review for combat, design, and all that good stuff. The sound design, localization, voice acting, story writing. It's bad. It's very bad. You can give me the best story written in Italian, Japanese, Korean, Russian, uh, uh, Latin, uh, whatever, uh, Ch Chinese. You can give me the best story written in Chinese. Right? But if you're not going to care to write it, to translate, you know, properly, and you just run it through Google Translate and just hope for the best, of course I'm not going to give a fuck about that Chinese story. You have to... A, a, localization, a localizer's job is to make sure that it works for the intended audience. That, that particular audience with that particular language. In this case, it's English, and they failed miserably. So because of that, I cannot recommend Withering Waves because there's no way for you to get invested into the game unless you really like the combat, which is what I'm doing, because I like the combat. But 
I cannot recommend Wither Wars. Uh, it's a shame because everyone seems to be talking about it, and I don't want to be a negative Nancy about this game, but it is what it is. Not a very good launch for a game. And they have no excuse because I know this game has been in development for so long. They could have put it off or just not have an English cast and spend more of that money and time on the English localization. Uh, but let me know what you think. If you're someone who is using the other dubs as well as the other localizations, uh, let me know what you think. Because is it just the English localization that's bad? I don't know. I don't know. It's a shame. Anyway, uh, the harsh reality of it is, after the first two hours of me playing, I have nothing bad to say about the game, game flow, uh, rather gameplay, game flow, design, nothing. I have nothing bad to say about it. I will be continuing to play it. However, I have everything bad to say about its localization, its audio mixing, and its voice acting, and its story. Damn, 4 out of 10, I cannot recommend it. It launched very poorly. And they thought this was good enough. It is not. It is not. 4 out of 10. That's, those are my thoughts on Wittering Waves. I'll still be playing it, but I won't be playing it on uh, stream. I don't want to do that unless uh, I decide to have a stream where I just rage and get angry at the voice acting and how stupid it sounds and the writing and how stupid that sounds. Yeah. That's all I got. Again, what the topics they cover in the story, pretty cool. I can understand where they're coming from, but yeah. It's uh, it really does feel like they just ran through Google Translate and Grammarly, not sponsored. Anyway, that's it for class, uh, guys. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you all enjoyed this very first episode of me just giving my initial thoughts on the video game. It will just be on uh, Twitch, uh, no, excuse me, on Twitter here, uh, and it might go up on YouTube, maybe. Uh, anyway, that's all, guys. Bye-bye.